hey guys so today i'm showing you all how to make this super yummy cheesy baked mashed potatoes when i tell you guys that this recipe is a must try it's a must try it's so good and if you've tried my cheesy garlic mashed potatoes recipe already you already know that that recipe is probably the best cheesy garlic mashed potato recipe on here so and this recipe just makes the mashed potatoes taste even better so we're gonna bake it and it's just delicious so let's get started you guys okay so I'm using red potatoes today but you can use regular like russet potatoes to make this recipe as well so what you want to do is get your pot and fill it up with water and in the pot you're gonna add the potatoes but be sure to cut the potatoes in half or quarters and then put it into the pot that way it'll cut down on the cooking time for the potatoes and I also added about three cloves of crushed garlic okay so add that in the pot you can add a little bit of salt cover the pot over medium to medium high heat and let it come to a boil and then you're gonna let your potatoes cook until it's fork tender so until you can take a fork or a knife and pierce it and it's fully cooked all right okay guys so once the potatoes is fully cooked you want to remove the water from the pot and then take the potatoes and the garlic do not throw out the garlic you guys and pour it into a large bowl so next to the potatoes I'm gonna add in some butter a few tablespoons of butter and make sure you're using a good quality of butter here is going to make your potatoes taste even better and then I'm going to season up my potatoes a little bit so I'm using garlic powder onion powder salt and black pepper all right so you're going to adjust the seasonings to your liking after you finish mixing up and mashing up the mashed potatoes taste it and adjust the seasonings all right so add that in and of course you guys don't forget check the description box down below for all my measurements and ingredients I'm using all right so next I'm gonna start mashing up my potatoes a little bit using my potato masher you can use a fork if you don't have a potato masher and I'm also gonna start slowly adding in some warm milk make sure it's warm milk and yeah just mash up your potatoes okay so you know when we're making mashed potatoes we like to like make the potatoes very smooth and creamy and like mash it up really well you don't have to do that for this recipe unless you choose to so I left mine a little bit more on the chunky side because I'm gonna bake it all right so after I finish adding in all of my milk and my mashed potatoes is as creamy as I'd like it to be a consistency I'm okay with I'm gonna start adding in the cheese so the cheese you want to use for this recipe is gouda cheese trust me on this you guys make sure it's gouda cheese all right and you want to I would recommend shredding it now I didn't shred it for my recipe here because I was being a little bit lazy but I would recommend you shred the cheese and add it into the potatoes I just cut mine into some small cubes and added it in it came up perfectly fine the only thing is if I shredded it like I did in my previous video um, a little bit more well blended all right so you want to add in your gouda cheese and give that a good mix really well to combine it with the mashed potatoes okay so next you want to get a casserole dish or a baking dish something to bake your mashed potatoes in okay and at this point you guys you can preheat your oven to 425 degrees so now I'm just spraying my dish with some nonstick cooking spray and next what you're gonna do is take the mashed potatoes and pour it into your dish then you're gonna use a pot spoon to spread it out evenly into the dish next I'm adding some shredded gouda cheese again on top of my potato so just cover the top with a nice even layer of the gouda cheese all right shredded and lastly I'm gonna sprinkle it with some freshly chopped cilantro you can use cilantro or parsley either is fine and then you guys are gonna put it into the oven to bake so we're gonna bake it at 425 for about 15 minutes just until the top gets nice and golden brown and bubbly and you guys that is it 
so once the top looks nice and golden brown like this you guys you're finished making your cheesy baked mashed potatoes it's so delicious oh my god i can't wait for you guys to try this recipe leave me your feedback let me know if you enjoyed it and how it turned out so you can let it cool for a few minutes and then enjoy so thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you do let me know in the comments down below and don't forget to like comment and subscribe so you can see my upcoming videos and i'll see you guys next time bye